6,000 years ago, long before the rise of great civilizations like the Mayans or the Incas, a mysterious group of humans lived in the Americas. They hunted, they gathered, they buried their dead, and then they vanished. For thousands of years, their existence remained completely unknown, hidden beneath layers of soil and time. No stories survived, no descendants were recognized, no place was reserved for them in history. Until now. A groundbreaking discovery in ancient DNA has uncovered a forgotten chapter in the human story, revealing a group of people who do not fit anywhere on the known genetic map of the Americas. They are neither ancestors of ancient North Americans nor connected to the early populations of South America. So who were they? To understand this mystery, we must travel back even further, nearly 20,000 years ago, during the last glacial maximum. At that time, massive ice sheets blanketed much of North America, and sea levels were dramatically lower. This exposed a vast land bridge known as Beringia, connecting Siberia to Alaska. Beringia was not a frozen wasteland. It was a grassy, windswept corridor filled with mammoths, bison, and other megafauna, and it served as the gateway for the first humans to enter the Americas. These early migrants descended from ancient East Asian and Siberian populations, Around 16,000 years ago, they crossed into the New World, carrying the genetic foundation of Native American ancestry. As the ice began to retreat, they moved southward, spreading across the continent. By 13,000 years ago, the Clovis culture, known for its distinctive fluted spear points, had spread across much of North America. Yet discoveries such as 23,000-year-old human footprints at White Sands National Park suggest that people may have arrived even earlier. But that is another story. The southward journey eventually funneled through the Isthmus of Panama, a narrow land bridge that served as the only route into South America. Along this path lay a crucial stop, the Bogota Altiplano, a high plateau rising 2,600 meters above sea level in the eastern cordillera of the Colombian Andes. With its fertile soils, wetlands, and abundant wildlife, the Altiplano offered an ideal refuge for early hunter-gatherers. Here, in the shadow of the Andes, humans adapted to a demanding high-altitude world, one that was both harsh and generous, but who were these people, and how did they fit into the broader story of the Americas? For decades, scientists believed that South America was settled by a single wave of migration, followed by gradual regional diversification. But a stunning genetic discovery in the Bogota Altiplano has shattered that assumption. In a landmark study published in Science Advances, an international team of researchers analyzed the genomes of 21 ancient individuals from the Bogota Altiplano, spanning 6,000 to 500 years ago. DNA was extracted from their bones and teeth, genetic material preserved for millennia. What the researchers found was astonishing. They identified a previously unknown group of pre-ceramic hunter-gatherers who lived around 6,000 years ago. This population, discovered at the Chequa site and labeled Columbia 6000 BP, represents a basal genetic lineage, a distinct branch that split off early during the peopling of South America. These people were genetically separate from the ancestors of ancient North Americans and from most known South American populations. They shared no close genetic ties with the Clovis-associated Anzic I individual from Montana, dated to 12,800 years ago. Nor were they connected to the ancestry that later spread from the California Channel Islands into the central Andes. Instead, they formed an outgroup a population standing apart from nearly all indigenous South Americans studied so far.
This suggests they were part of an early radiation of humans into the continent, possibly among the first groups to settle south of the Isthmus of Panama. Advanced genetic analyses, including F3 and F4 statistics, which measure shared ancestry, revealed no specific affinity to any modern or ancient South American population. In genetic terms, these people stood alone. 6,000 years ago, the Bogota Altiplano was an open landscape of grassy plains and wetlands framed by towering Andean peaks. This is where the Chequa hunter-gatherers lived. At high altitude, they faced cold nights, thin air, and dramatic temperature shifts. To survive, they adapted. They likely hunted deer and small mammals, fished from rivers and wetlands, and gathered wild plants such as starchy tubers and fruits. They lived without pottery. Food was probably prepared using woven baskets, animal hides, or stone tools, placing them firmly in the pre-agricultural, pre-ceramic world. DNA also revealed insights into their social lives. Among the seven Chequa individuals studied, researchers identified four pairs of close relatives, siblings or cousins, suggesting a small, tight-knit community. Five of the individuals were male, all sharing the same Y-chromosome lineage, haplogroup Q1B1A, a paternal line common among Native Americans. Their mitochondrial DNA, inherited through mothers, was more diverse, primarily haplogroups B2, D1, A2, and C1, indicating broader maternal connections. Crucially, genetic analysis showed low levels of inbreeding, meaning they did not routinely marry close relatives. Population estimates suggest their group was three to eight times smaller than later populations, consistent with small mobile hunter-gatherer bands of the pre-ceramic period. Yet despite their survival skills, something happened. By 2,000 years ago, this unique lineage had completely disappeared from the Bogota Altiplano. In its place appeared a new population, genetically linked to people from Central America and associated with the Herrera ceramic complex. Advanced modeling techniques such as admixture and Q-wave confirmed a clear genetic replacement with no evidence of mixing between the two groups. From the Herrera period through the later Muisca era, this new population remained genetically stable right up until the arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century. So what happened to the Chequa people? Climate change may have altered the landscape. Competition for resources could have intensified. New technologies, pottery, agriculture, food storage likely gave incoming groups a decisive advantage. Disease may have played a role. Whatever the cause, the result was total genetic disappearance. The discovery of the Chequa hunter-gatherers challenges the long-held idea that the Clovis culture represented the first and defining wave of settlement in the Americas. Instead, it reveals a far more complex story, one shaped by multiple migrations, early divergences, isolation, and replacement. The Bogota Altiplano, once a silent crossroads, is now recognized as a critical gateway in human history. Scientists are calling for further DNA studies across South America. Could remnants of this lineage exist in the Amazon, in Central America, or among modern Chibchan-speaking populations? New tools, such as single-cell DNA sequencing and isotopic analysis, may soon provide answers, revealing how these people lived, moved, and ultimately vanished. Their story reminds us that human history is not a straight line, but a branching, fragile web of survival, adaptation, and loss. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share to help us tell the stories history almost forgot. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.